are not going to report criminality and abuse. And I think the prime minister should get real work done. And, and we should find ways of fighting these gangs. You know, we don't say across the country that white men commit crimes and therefore all white men in this country are criminals and therefore people are turning a blind light. I, I think the prime minister ought to be prime ministerial and really come to communities to ask what we need to do rather than this right-wing politics, which is playing to their, their right-wing politics. It's very racist Okay, criminalise those communities. John, as a uh, member of the Metropolitan Police Independent Advisory Group, uh, also an advisor to the Ministry of Justice, really good to speak to you. Thank you very much indeed. Fine. Is it possible? Well, let's bring in David Greenwood. He is head of the Child Abuse Department at Switolsky's Solicitors and represents victims of sexual grooming gangs, uh, including 29 victims of the Rotherham child grooming scandal. Uh, good evening to you, David. Hello, good evening. I don't know if you were able to hear John Azza there, but he said that he thought that some of these comments by the Prime Minister were racist in pointing the finger at particularly uh, some Asian communities. Well, I think he has a point. Well, it's, it's, it's pointless blaming particular communities or sections of society uh, in accordance with their the skin colour. Um, these people are simply criminals. Uh, the police are only interested in catching criminals. That's been my um, experience of the police around the country. Um, yes, um, it's true to say that in Rotherham, in that isolated incident, um, there were political issues in as much as the council relied heavily on the ethnic minority Labour vote a lot of its support and so they didn't want to rock the boat and that was a, some some of the factor in not bringing uh, some of the perpetrators to, to justice there but that's the the only isolated incident that I have any evidence of um, and so yeah I think Rishi Sunak's words are misjudged I think uh, he should have been concentrating on the, the criminality of these offences I don't know if you're able to hear me speaking a little earlier to Sammy Woodhouse, who is a survivor of the Rotherham child sex abuse scandal. And she talked about how she went to the police uh, several times and her complaints were ignored. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's not just um, this, in, in the Rotherham case, it's not just uh, the, the race issue that was at, at play. It was an issue of local authority workers, uh, family social worker, turning a blind eye, eye to the whole thing um, and allowing it to continue, and police officers being either too lazy or too inexperienced to tackle these quite difficult crimes. Um, they involve gathering evidence um, from multiple sources and persuading the complainants to to engage with the police. Um, yeah, that's, that's one of the reasons why Rishi Sunak and his, his Home Secretary have decided to ramp up the input from the National Crime Agency. Um, that's a good idea, definitely. The National Crime Agency have been parachuted into Rotherham because South Yorkshire Police weren't doing a good job of investigating these crimes. And from what I see, um, the National Crime Agency have been doing a fantastic job in Rotherham in finding evidence and prosecuting perpetrators dating back 20 years. So when you hear about, uh, we've got this new task force, which you referred to there, we've also got more data being collected on uh, the grooming gangs and who these people are. Uh, we've got uh, this very blunt language from the Prime Minister and the Home Secretary. Uh, is this going to make a difference, do you think? If enough money is put into it, put into it, it will make a difference. Uh, but we, I mean, we're talking about these grooming gangs. Uh, this is a minority of the child sexual abuse that goes on in this country. Let's face it: most of the child sexual abuse happens in families or in in tight neighbourhoods, um, and that's the type of stuff that we need to be tackling. Um, the the 
grooming gangs of Pakistani uh, youths and, and men is a minority of the crime. Um, so we need to be tackling the, the majority of, the, of this abuse as well. Uh, this mandatory reporting uh, suggestion um, is definitely a step forward in that because more children at risk will be brought to the attention of authorities if it's implemented properly. Um, and we need to be careful about whether you know, mandatory reporting, as announced by Rishi Sunak today, is actually going to uh, help because the model suggested by the uh, independent inquiry into child sexual abuse um, was unhelpful and was weak. It was restricted only to people who look after children who actually witnessed the abuse uh, themselves or uh, had a perpetrator uh, confess to them. Okay. Uh, it, yeah, so it, that needs to be broadened out in my view. We'll have to leave it there. Uh, David Greenwood, um, head of the Child Abuse Department at Switolsky Solicitors, which represents victims of sexual grooming gangs. Um, really good to speak to you this evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay. Several of you have been getting in touch on this story. Uh,